Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. First things first, I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm almost up to 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I sublimate mugs. I've recently added mugs to my Etsy shop as they go well with the notebooks that I make as well. So I'm going to show you how I transform a regular Epson printer into a sublimation printer. Let's get into it. The Epson printer I purchased is the Epson 2720. What I did is I threw away the ink that came with the printer, washed out the bottles thoroughly, and filled it with sublimation ink. Here you'll see that I'm filling each tank with the coordinating color. Each ink bottle comes with a different sized nozzle. This prevents you from putting the wrong color into the wrong tank. From this view, you see that there's a color guide which tells you which color goes into which tank. For detailed instructions on how to set up your printer with the proper paper type and the ink settings, I'm going to leave in the description box a two-part setup video which is by Cosmos Inc. This is the instructions I followed and had no issues setting up my sublimation printer. When you're doing sublimation, you require special paper to print on. The sublimation paper I use is a sub sublimation paper. When doing sublimation, you're required to mirror your image so that the image prints backwards on your sublimation paper. When doing sublimation, you will be required to purchase sublimation mugs. Sublimation does not work on regular mugs. What I'm doing here is I'm dusting off any lint or dust particles. If there's any dust while you're sublimating, this will leave a blue color on your mug. Here I'm using heat resistant tape to tape the image onto my mug. You cannot use regular tape as it will leave a residue on your mug.
taping your image onto the mug, you want to ensure that the image is lying flat and that it's taped tightly and securely. The mug press that I'm using is the Better Sub 11 ounce mug press. I purchased this on Amazon. When sublimating, you'll want to use regular copy paper to wrap around your mug before putting it into the mug press. This prevents from any of the sublimation ink leaking into your mug press. For your mug press, you'll have to play around with the temperature and the settings to determine which temperature works best for the mugs and the sublimation ink you're using for your project. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button.